One of the trends I've seen a lot in media right now is making remakes or reboots or sequels or something like that to well-known franchises or movies but with a gender bent cast. A great example of this is Ghostbusters. Um, recently we've had a new Men in Black and the latest edition I've just heard about is James Bond where not as I originally thought, James Bond will not be turned into Jane Bond, but 007 will be played by a woman. Now, when I first heard of this, I was like, yeah, great. We get more female representation in some badass roles, more female leading characters, yay, happy me. But when I thought about it a little bit more, I didn't quite have the same reaction to it, um, especially after seeing Ghostbusters reaction and seeing Men in Black myself. It just, feels a little bit forced. And normally, I don't jump into the whole like forced diversity debate because often it's a bit of a slippery slope where people are like, oh, don't make gay characters unless it's specific to the plot. Spoiler alert, G gay people exist outside of, you know, just coming out. We, we're, we're just humans. We experience things as well. That zoom in was so not worth readjusting my focus. So I hope I'm focused. But for this, it just just feels forced. It feels like stu big studios are trying to cash in on the new feminism and this new diversity talk and the call for more female characters and just going, oh, well, we have these stories. They made money. Let's just reuse them and put some females in it. Let's make some more money, shall we? And it just doesn't work that way. The, the problem is that those movies just have so much going against them that they end up kind of becoming this self-fulfilling prophecy of why female-led action movies don't work. Which isn't true, it's just that female-led reboots of movies that didn't originally have female leads don't work. In fact, I go as far as to venture in saying that reboots and remakes don't work, but that's a different discussion for a different time, which will definitely happen, but it's not right now. When these movies are made, they have two really big things going against them that's going to keep them from making as much revenue, which is how we know Hollywood measures success, as the film producers would like them to. First up is the fact that they're a remake. They're trying to cash in on something that originally captured people but without having the original thing that captured them. People often will look at it and go, well, it's not as good as the original, which is the same reason why sequels are really, really hard to make and often the worst part of a movie franchise. And then the sequel, which is not a word, the third movie will make a comeback because the sequel just has so much going against it because the first one was so beloved, but it's just not that. Secondly, the fact that you've changed the gender roles. When you do that, you upset a lot of people. And do I agree that those people should be upset? No. Basically, you often get a lot of like misogynism and people just kind of dogpile a bunch of shit on the movie before it's even made. And that means that if it's bad, it then automatically gets linked to it being women, not just because it's a bad movie. Ghostbusters, which I haven't seen, <laughs> but I heard from people whose opinions on movies I generally respect, and also from looking at the cast in that movie, had some really good actors. The problem was the writing and the fact that it wasn't Ghostbusters, but because they gender swapped it, everyone was saying, oh, well, there you go. Female characters in an action movie doesn't work. Look at that. We told you. Men in Black, which I recently watched, had the same problem. It was just not as charming because part of what made that movie great was the chemistry between the two lead actors who aren't in this movie. And the script and the story in my head was just a lot weaker and it's like people didn't try. They just said, oh, well, if we slap Men in Black on it, people will come so we don't even have to try and write a good story. Then they also slap a female protagonist in there, which means a lot of dude bros are angry because they're like, oh, you're stealing our manly franchises and turning them into this feminazi agenda. <sighs> Just kind of feels like Hollywood is saying, yeah, women, we hear you, you want more representation, but we don't really care enough to actually write good female characters and give you new original ideas. So we're just gonna like put you in these like recycled sloppy second movies. Um, and then can you just go over and be quiet? 
and that's kind of been happening a lot lately and it just upsets me because it perpetuates the idea that female-led action movies or just female-led movies can't do as well as the male-led movies without looking at the other problems within those movies. And that's where I stand on the new casting choice of James Bond and you can already see it. It was announced that in said actor's name because I didn't look it up is gonna be 007 in a new movie. Not James Bond, because James Bond is in retirement. However, that's what all the media headlines said it was, that James Bond was now a woman, because, you know, clickbait and who cares about objective truths. As soon as that announcement was made, a bunch of people was jumping on it and going like, why are you ruining James Bond movies? Why does this have to be political? Why are you putting a woman in this role? It would have been so much better had they just taken her and gone, you know what? She would make a badass female spy. Let us write a movie about a badass female spy and put that in the cinema instead. And then we ignore the outrage, we go a big circle outside of the whole problem of nostalgia not actually selling as well as people think it will, and we just have a badass female spy movie which has much better odds at doing well. So yes, Hollywood, I really, really want more female representation. I really want badass female women kicking ass in action movies, but please, Please stop perpetuating this hate that women can't make those movies by just giving us remakes, sloppy seconds, things that are basically doomed to fail before we even get a chance and just sit down and write original cool movies for original cool female characters. Now, of course, as always, I am very interested in hearing what you think of this phenomenon. So if you have any thoughts, if you agree or if you disagree with me on this, please leave them in the comments down below and we can have a discussion about this whole remake gender bending spree that Hollywood seems to be going on right now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I hope you have great, wonderful days full of original female characters. Bye.